Not many students know that UWM has a TV news studio on campus. Located in the bottom of Cunningham Hall, the studio is used every Friday by students to produce a half-hour show for the Broadcast Club and twice a semester for the Minority Media Association, or MMA. Even fewer students know what UWM's MMA club is and why it exists. So I talked to MMA club president Srijan Sen about the club's goals on campus and in the Milwaukee community. It just it focuses on issues that relate to the community and it important issues and issues like we covered today. It doesn't have to be political issues, issues that uh, concern the community in Milwaukee. And although we are a minority media association, we um, generally keep a broad view of minority. It's gender minority, ethnic minority, racial minority. It really doesn't matter. It's not really a minority-based club. It's open to everybody. On this week's show, MMA interviewed Gerard Blanks, a Journal Sentinel writer, about his role in this year's Milwaukee Film Festival, and specifically about Black Lens, which was a portion of the film festival that showcased films by black filmmakers. I started in film, and I thought I was going to be the next Spike Lee, or the next Carl Lewis. That was the plan. And After the show, I spoke to Gerard and had him tell me more specifically about the Black Lens and what its importance was in the film festival. Hey. It's a showcase of the Milwaukee Film Festival. It's eight films, both documentary and, um, I don't know what you call it, uh, narrative-based films. Um, and so the, sh the focus is really on black filmmakers. So it's more than just black films, but making sure that the people behind the lens, um, the directors, the producers, uh, the screenwriters, are people of color, primarily black folks, and really just giving them uh, a platform, you know, and, yeah. in which to show and promote their work. MMA gives its members a very hands-on experience with broadcast equipment, as well as valuable reporting and interviewing skills that are used every day in a journalist's career. Srijan also talked to me about what goes into the shows and what he gets out of them. We try to make these shows as interesting as possible, getting people like Gerard here to talk about uh, their lives and how, how they're shaped up. Uh, most of our um, guests have been African-American, successful African-American uh, people, and they've come on and talked about their experiences. And it's been, a, it's been a fun time doing this. It gives me personally an experience to be in front of the camera and to understand the intricacies of how media works on camera. The live setting is very different from what you see on TV and uh, in print and in radio. It's very different from broadcast. So it, for me, it's, a, it's really an experience to understand camera work. Lastly, yeah. Srijan talked to me about what sets MMA apart from other broadcast clubs. Okay, okay now, uh, ready camera one. We focus on issues that pertain to the minority community. And again, minority defined very broadly. So people should know this because we only have three shows a semester. So it's not really, we're not bombarding you with YouTube videos after YouTube videos you know, telling you, you know, watch this. Oh, no, watch this. It's just three basic shows in all, like, 30 minutes. Shrijan told me that MMA has its second show coming up later this November and hopes that the club gets more exposure by then. For Media Milwaukee, I'm Evan Vogel.